Gunsmoke. Brought to you by L and M Filters with the miracle tip. King size, regular, both at the same low price. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. William Conrad, a transcribed story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> Kitty? Hello. Uh, I'm Ben Tennis, Miss Kitty. Well, sit down, Ben. Oh, thanks. I seen you around. Uh, I don't get to town often. Ma keeps pretty tight rain on us. Who's us? Me and Andy. Uh, he's my kid brother. Oh. Uh, we run a ranch down on Crooked Creek. Uh, Ma owns it, of course. Just the three of you, huh? Uh, yeah, Pa's dead. I wanted to tell you who I am so she wouldn't think I meant nothing wrong. About what? Uh, a fella told me you brought him luck once, uh, gambling. That's silly. Maybe, but I wish you'd try it. Please, Miss Kitty. You want to buy me some chips? Sure, will. If you sit by my brother over there. Oh, it's for him. Yeah, and he's kind of hot-headed, ma'am, and he's been losing. I don't want to get mixed up in any fight. Oh, there won't be any trouble. But you might change his luck. Please, Miss Kitty. Sounds to me like you still got this kid brother of yours on a bottle. But you seem like a nice fella, Ben. I'll go. Oh, gee, thanks, Miss Kitty. Which table? I'll show you. Uh, how many cards? How many chips will you want? Three I was you? kidding. I'll just One sit and watch. Well, could I buy you a drink? Later, maybe. Well, that's Andy with the red hair. Well, wait till they finish his hand before I sit down. Hand off. Okay. There's my money. I'm calling you. That's him. That's Andy. I hope you got a good hand this time, young fella. Stop calling me young fella. My name's Andy. Okay, Andy. Nobody's prodding you. You, Ben. What do you got? Five little hearts. All blue. How could you have five hearts? Well, they were dealt out right out of the deck, Andy. Sure, and you dealt them, didn't you? Now, what do you mean by that? I ain't won a hand yet. You know what I mean. Easy now, young fellow. That's the last time you're going to say that, mister. I'm not armed. You better be. Andy, stop it. He thinks he can cheat me because I'm a kid. Put that gun away. Not until I use it. Why, you're crazy. Oh! 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 You killed him, Andy. You stay back too, Ben. You've done enough shooting. Put that gun away. He was cheating me, wasn't he? No. But even if he was, there's no cause to kill a man. He wasn't even armed, Andy. What do I care? All right. Hold it. Here's Marshal Dillon, Andy. Don't you try nothing now. Evening, Ben. Marshal. What are you doing with a gun in your hand, Andy? I killed one man with it, Marshal. Yeah, I know. All right, drop it. Drop it right on the floor. No. You know, one man's enough, Andy. You're scared now, aren't you? Scared half to death. I ain't scared. Yes, I'm scared. You couldn't shoot if you tried. Now, give me the gun. Uh -oh. There. You shouldn't have been carrying it in the first place. Don't talk to me okay, about... Okay, it's too late for talk anyway. Chester. Yes, sir? Lock him up. Yes, sir. Start walking, Andy. Right in front of me. Come on. You have to lock him up, Marshal. He murdered a man, Ben. Kitty, you witnessed this, didn't you? I never saw anything like it, Matt. The dealer wasn't even armed. He told him so. 
That kid must be crazy. It was almost like he had to kill somebody. Nothing could have stopped him. He hates people telling him how young he is. You ask me, he hates people. It's Ma. She's always made a baby out of him. Well, I better go tell her about this. I don't know her, Ben, but don't get her hopes up. Andy hasn't got much chance. Ma's a strong-headed woman, Marshal. She can be pretty fierce. Andy murdered a man. He's going to stand trial for it. Maybe. But, Marshal, I sure don't envy you none. You don't know it, but you're in for real trouble now. Never has a cigarette received such an enthusiastic welcome or won such a smashing success in so little time as L&M filters. Why are L&M sales soaring higher every day? Because it's the filter that counts, and no filter compares with L&M's miracle tip for quality or effectiveness. The result? You get much more flavor, much less nicotine. A light and mild smoke. Join the trend to L&M. Like thousands, you'll say, This is it, L&M filters. This is it. Light and mild. Much more flavor. L&M filters. Much less nicotine. Light and mild. L&M. King size or regular. Both at the same low price. How's the prisoner this morning, Chester? Well, it's kindly hard to tell, Mr. Dillon. Oh, what do you mean? He won't say nothing. He, he won't even look at you. I took him some bread and some coffee, and he wouldn't touch it. He's just sitting there on the floor, getting cold. Uh, the coffee, I mean, not the bread. The bread is just okay. cold Okay, okay. All, all right, Chester, all right. Anyway, he won't be here long. I'm trying to fix it so he'll get a trial real soon. Yeah. I wish he'd done his darn killing someplace else. I don't like a man that won't even eat his breakfast. Makes me feel... Oh, my goodness, look at here. Marshal Dillon? Yes, ma'am? My name's Tennis. Uh, how do you do? Uh, this is Chester Proudfoot. How do you do, ma'am? I didn't Please come here for no socializing. Uh, what's the shotgun for, Miss Tennis? To put people where cold weather won't bother them. I sleep with his shotgun, Marshal carried it ever since I was 18. But I didn't come here to talk about that either. You came to see your boy Andy, huh? Ben says Andy killed a man. He did, Miss Tennis. You're holding him for murder? Yes, ma'am. Going to try him? Uh, he'll be tried. And hung, I suppose. Now, that depends on the judge, Miss Tennis. Andy ain't got much of a case, from what Ben tells me. Now he's young. The judge might take that into consideration. What's the judge care. Ain't his son. I'm sorry, Miss Tennis. There's been one too many hangings in my family already. What? The boy's father, Marshal. They took Mr. Tennis and hung him just before Andy was born. Oh. I worked the ranch best I could, and I raised them two boys all alone. Nobody helped me at all. I did it. Tell me, uh, why did they hang your husband? They said he killed a man. Miss Tennis, you said Ben told you about what happened last night. The old man is guilty. But Andy ain't going to hang, Marshal. Why, you think I come here? I got my buggy outside, and Andy's leaving with me. No, Miss Tennis... Shut up. I... Uh, look, uh, why don't you put the shotgun down, huh? Either one of you scratch for your guns and I'll blow you to heaven, Marshal. Hear that, Chester? Yes, ma'am, I ain't doing a thing. Good. 
I ain't afraid of dying. And I ain't afraid of killing, neither. Chester, you go get Andy and bring him in here. Well, I... I... Mr. Dillon? Do what she says, Chester. Any tricks and I'll shoot the marshal, Chester. I, I, I won't try nothing. This isn't going to do any good, Miss Tennis. It's going to keep Andy from hanging. Well, I'm going to find him sooner or later, you know. That's where I got you beat, Marshal. Andy ain't going to run. What? He's going to stay on the ranch, right in the house. Anybody comes after him, they're going to have to fight me. Fight you? You think that'll make a man out of him? You think the hangman would? Here he is. Hello, Ma. You young fool. What'd you have to go kill a man for? Now, Ma. Shut up. The buggy's outside. Go get in it. Sure, Ma. And Marshal. Don't think you're gonna shoot him while we're driving out of town. I don't shoot unarmed men, Miss Tennis. He ain't a coward. He's got a bad temper, but he ain't a coward. What would you call hiding behind a woman's skirts? I'm his Ma, ain't I? What difference does that make? You'll find out if you don't leave him alone. Okay, so long, Miss Thomas. So long, Marshal. Chester and I stood helplessly at the window and watched Miss Tennis and Andy drive out of town. And as we did, I began to wonder how I'd ever get him back into jail, short of shooting his mother. Her idea of keeping him right by her side and not letting him run was a good one, but I figured even he'd get tired of that sooner or later. So after sitting around Dodge being laughed at for a week, Chester and I rode out to see if Andy was still on the ranch. Well, there's a house, Mr. Dillon. Yeah. I don't see nobody around. Uh, maybe they're inside. I wish I was inside something. That woman's got a bead on me right now. I can just feel it. Chester, look over there. Under that cottonwood by the barn there. Well, that's her, Mr. Dillon. What in the world is she doing, digging? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, she's seen us. Now, there's that shotgun again. Oh, my Put goodness. your hands in the air, Chester. Sure, we're friendly. Okay, but it just makes me a better target. Marshal. I wanted to talk to you, Miss Tennis. About Andy? Yeah. I'd like to talk to him, too. You're too late, Marshal. He gone? He's dead. What? This here's his grave. I just buried him. Well, what happened? What difference does it make? He's dead. How did he die, Miss Tennis? Why don't you leave me be, Marshal? You can't hang him now. Go on, Dr. Dodge. Miss Tennis, I know how you feel, and I hate to ask you this, but I'm going to have to see the body before I can make a report. Anybody goes digging in that grave, I'll kill him. What happened, Miss Tennis? All right, I'll tell you. Ben talked Andy into giving himself up and standing trial, and he's going to do it. But I wouldn't allow that. No son of mine's going to hang. You're saying that you killed him? I killed him. I'd rather he died that way than see him hang. Where's Ben? Gone. I run him off. Ain't never coming back. Both my sons are gone now, Marshal. For good. Miss Tennis. You're going to arrest me, ain't you? Now you've confessed to a murder. They won't hang a woman, will they? No. Okay. You can arrest me. But I ain't coming to town till tomorrow. Well, if you'd like to kind of pack up or I whatever... I don't want you... you waiting around here. I'll come to Dodge by myself. Either you trust me, Marshal, or I won't come at all. Okay, Miss Dennis, you come in tomorrow. Come on, let's go, Chester. Mr. Dillon, that woman is crazy. 
She'll do anything. I don't see how you can trust her. She'll show up, Justin. You really think so? I'm sure of it. And when she does, she's in for a big surprise. <laughs> Oh, you want me to go get my chessboard, Matt? Uh, no, Doc. I, I I don't feel like playing right now, I don't think. Oh, you don't? Well, I thought it might help kind of kill time. <laughs> I'm not worried, Doc. She'll show up, all right. Oh, she will? Mm-hmm. Why should she, Matt? Why should anybody walk in and give up on a murder charge? Well, Maude Tennis is a little different from most people, Doc. Like Ben told me, she can be pretty fierce. Oh, I know she can. You know, I remember one time a horse pitched her into some wire, and it cut her up bad all over. I had to sew that woman up from one end to the other, and she never even blinked. She just lay there, looking kind of mad about it. Ah, she's got her own mind, I'll say that, even if she is wrong most of the time. Well, she always has been wrong about Andy. I tried to tell her that once. And you know what she did? What? She just looked at me, never said a word, stared me right out of the house. Oh, it made me feel like a fool. <laughs> She's made me feel like a fool, too, Doc. Yeah, but what can you do? You can't fight women, Matt. No, but sometimes you can outsmart them, maybe. I don't know. Uh-oh. Oh, my God, here she is. What are you doing here, Doc? Ah, uh, well, nothing, Mr. Tennis. I was just chatting with the marshal. <laughs> I was just killing a little time here. Yeah. Gossiping, hmm? Sitting around telling lies when you ought to be working. The trouble with you city folks. Oh, now, Dodge isn't exactly what you'd call a city, Mrs. Tennis. I didn't come here to argue about that. You gonna lock me up, Marshal? Uh, no, Mrs. Tennis, I'm not. What? Well, I got to thinking. I, uh... Made a mistake yesterday. I can't send you up for trial. What are you talking about? Why can't you? Oh, there's no witness. You say you killed Andy, but that's not enough for a court of law. There's got to be somebody else to testify that you did it. I never heard of no such thing. No, it's in the book. That's the way the law works. Of course, if you hadn't run Ben off, he'd be a witness. But uh, I can't go chasing him all over the country. You'll never find him. Said he's going all the way to California. Well, then I got no case against you. I'll only get in trouble for wasting the court's time. You might as well go on back home, Miss Tennant. You trying to fool me, Marshal? No, the case closed. I don't like it, but there's nothing I can do about it. Unless Ben shows up sometime. Ben's gone, I told you. Well, as long as he is, you're free. Why didn't you tell me this yesterday? I'm sorry, Miss Tennant. I guess I wasn't thinking too good yesterday. You get out and do a little work instead of sitting around this office jawing with Doc Adams, you might get to thinking better. Uh, yes, ma'am. Maybe you're right, ma'am. I'm going now. So long. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye, Mrs. Tennant. Matt. Yeah. I never heard anything so crazy. What were you telling her? It doesn't matter, Doc, as long as she believes it. Well, what are you trying to do anyway? I'm trying to catch a murderer, Doc. You don't think she did it? No, I don't. But I'll find out who did. Real soon now. M filters are sweeping the country. L and M, the filter tip cigarette everyone's talking about. Everyone's changing to. For example, Maurice Evans told us, my doctor suggested L and M filters. I recommend them to you as the best. Patricia Morrison wrote, I'm so glad I changed to L and M filters because here's a filter cigarette that really tastes the way a cigarette should. And John Robert Powers says, I'm convinced L&M's Miracle Tip is the ultimate in filters. Yes, L&M filters are truly sweeping the country, breaking more sales records every day. The reason? It's the filter that counts. And no filter compares with L&M's Miracle Tip for quality or effectiveness. 
you get much more flavor, much less nicotine. Our statement of quality goes unchallenged. L&M is America's highest quality and best filter tip cigarette. This is it, L&M filters. This is it, something new. Now two sizes, L&M filters. New king size and regular too. This is it, L&M filters. L&M filters with the miracle tip. Join the trend to L&M. King size or regular, both at the same low price. I didn't follow Miss Tennis home that night. I left her alone. All that night and the next day. But along toward evening, Chester and I rode out of Dodge, and soon after dark, we were close enough to the ranch to turn our horses loose, hide our saddles, and walk the rest of the way. There was a light in the house, but all we could see was Miss Tennis. She was alone. So we crept into the barn, and sat on, and waited. We waited until almost midnight. Maybe she wasn't lying, Mr. Dillon. Maybe he did leave the country. Well, I've been wrong before, Chester. Oh, no, sir, I didn't mean that. I, I I meant... Well, what I meant was... If he doesn't ride in here tonight or tomorrow or tomorrow night or sometime, then I was wrong again. Yes, sir. But we're going to wait here till we starve if we have to. Oh, my goodness, don't talk about eating. I ain't even had my supper. Shh. I... Quiet. a horse, Mr. Dillon. Must be him. Yeah. Well, he won't leave his horse outside. He'll bring him in here. Get back in one of those stalls, Chester. And don't do any shooting unless he gets me. All right, hurry now. Yes, sir. horse inside. Yes, sir. Did you hurt him bad, Mr. Dillon? No, you'll be all right in a minute. I got his guns, though. Uh, uh, well, Mr. Dillon, mm. that ain't Ben. It's Andy. Yeah, I know. I thought he was dead. She wouldn't shoot Andy Chester, never. That's what was wrong with her story from the beginning. Well, then... That's Ben's grave out there. Him and Andy must have had a fight. Yeah, I guess so. But by making me think it was Andy and that she'd killed him, Andy would be free. Nobody's going to go hunting for a dead man. And she was willing to go to jail for it. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Nobody's going to shoot you, Andy. Now keep your voice down. Now get on your feet. Come on, stand up. Uh, uh, I shall kill him. Chester. We've been waiting for you, Andy. I didn't kill him. I didn't do it. I think you did. I think Ben threatened to bring you back to jail himself, and you shot him for it. No. No, Ma killed him. She, she told you she did it. Why, why'd you turn her loose anyway? Because I didn't believe her. You should have run when you had the chance, Andy. I got nothing to run for. Well, it doesn't matter if you admit killing Ben or not. You're going to be tried for murdering that gambler in Dodge. Andy. It's Miss Dennis. Andy. I'm all right. Answer her, Andy. Go on. Ma? What are you doing in that salon? I heard you ride up. I'll tell her to come in. Come help me, Ma. Oh, I hope she ain't got that shotgun. I'll grab it if she has. All right, get Andy back out of the way, Chester. Over here, Andy. Hello, Miss Tennis. Marshal Dillon. All right, bring him over here, Chester. She's unarmed. You got Andy. Yeah, I got him. And I'm going to keep him. 
Ma. What do you have to ride in here for? They're going to take me to jail, Ma. I'm taking him to jail. Chester's going to stay here and keep an eye on you for a few hours, Miss Tennis. And I'm not taking Andy to Dodge for you to walk in with your shotgun, either. Where are you taking him? He can be tried anywhere. He'll be hung, won't he? I told you before, that's not for me to decide. He'll be hung. Marshal, you taking him now? Yeah. Can I talk to him a minute? Okay. But don't try to make a break for it. It won't do any good. Come on, Andy. Sure, Ma. Well, that's the most no-good kid I ever saw willing to let his ma go to jail for him. Ah, uh, we got him now, Chester. And you keep her here as long as you can. Sit on her if you have to. Well, how far are you taking him, Mr. Dillon? I don't know. Abilene, maybe, or... What, Mr. Dillon? Hold still. I ain't gonna shoot you, Marshal. Here's my gun. <clears throat> All right, come on, Chester. Oh, she killed him, Mr. Dillon. She had a shotgun hid out in there. You beat me, Marshal. You beat me this time. I sure was wrong about you, Miss Tennis. I had to kill him. I couldn't see him hang. The only reason I'm out here now is because I was sure you'd never do this. Yeah, I was real wrong about you, wasn't I? I didn't outsmart you after all. You gonna put me in jail? Yeah. Yeah, Miss Tennis, this time I'm gonna put you in jail. Our star, William Conrad. Filter smokers, whether you like a long cigarette or a regular size smoke, it's my opinion that your best bet is an L and M filter, because only L and M's give you effective filtration, and no other cigarette has it. Enjoy L and M's light and mild smoke. Either way, king size or regular, both at the same low price. <laughs> Gunsmoke, transcribed under the direction of Norman MacDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Tonight's story was specially written for Gunsmoke by John Meston, with music composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Featured in the cast were Virginia Gregg, Lee Millar, Sam Edwards, and Harry Bartell. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. Join us again next week as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal, Fights to bring law and order out of the wild violence of the West in gun smoke. Hear gun smoke every Saturday, this same time, this same station. Hear the great new Perry Como radio show every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, also on CBS Radio. This is the CBS Radio Network.